the gold price could easily be $5,700 per ounce right now. And you know what that means for silver. We're going to focus on gold, the godfather of the precious metals. I'm going to show you historic proof that the gold price could easily be $5,700 per ounce right now. But we're also going to talk about the potential for incredible gains within the gold mining sector, in particular, the junior mining sector. I'm going to give you all the reasons why in this video. Let's get started right now. You might be celebrating the fact that gold is above $2,500 per ounce, but the reality is from a historic perspective, it has much more room to run. This chart shows us 100 years comparing the S&P 500 index to the price of gold. It's a ratio. Right now, with the S&P 500 around 5,700, if that ratio were to be one to one, the price of gold would be $5,700 per ounce. But when we look at the chart and we go to the right-hand side, which shows us the current ratio at two to one, to get to one is not that far of a stretch. And if we look out over that 100-year history, we see that on a long-term basis, the average S&P 500 to gold ratio is indeed one. So the gold price does have, from a historic basis, a lot of room to run. But the gold price going up is just the first phase of a precious metals bull market. And there could still be a lot of money to be made. Look, the next things to move after the price of gold will be things like the gold mining stocks. They're doing well lately, but they still have a lot of room to run. And don't forget, silver still has a lot of catching up to do as well. But let's focus in on the gold mining stocks. Gold mining stocks are at historic low levels. That means the value opportunity, the opportunity for capital appreciation is like nothing we've seen in the last several decades. This chart shows the ratio of the HUI index. That's a, an aggregate, a combination of the value of the 15 or 16 largest gold mining companies. And as you can see, it is at historic low levels. On this chart, sitting right at 0 0.008, it compares the HUI index to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We can look back just to 2011 and see that this ratio was as high as 0 0.055. For this ratio to get back to levels seen just as recently as 2011, 2012, the HUI index, the big gold miners, would have to go up by six times or more in price. And this is the big gold miners, the mid-sized companies, the juniors, the developers, the explorers. They've been beaten down to even lower levels and offer a potential opportunity for capital appreciation like a lot of us haven't seen in our lifetimes. The sponsor of today's video is West Mining Corp. They're one of these exploration stage companies. However, they do have a resource and a big project in Canada, in British Columbia. And when you look at the value of the company, when you compare the assets that the company has to their current market cap, there is a huge, huge disconnect. Right now, as of September 23rd, 2024, their market cap on the U.S. exchange was under 3 million U.S. dollars. When you take a look at their balance sheet, the company has total assets of 6.4 million U.S. dollars, which is mostly comprised of their big projects in Canada. Now, they do have a little debt, about 240,000 U.S. dollars, but when you subtract that debt from their total assets of $6.4 million, you come to $6.163 U.S. dollars in asset value free of any debt. Remember, 
right now, the total market cap, the total value placed on the company on the stock exchange is under 3 million US dollars. What that means is if the company ceased operations and were able to sell those assets for what they're carried on their books at around $6 million, that would double the share price almost immediately. West Mining is a great example of the value opportunity, the opportunity for capital appreciation that's available right now throughout the entire gold exploration sector. And the excitement for West Mining doesn't end with the fact that their stock is fundamentally undervalued. They have some exciting projects as well. That includes gold and copper operations with their Spanish Mountain West and Junker properties, but also their flagship property, the Kena Project. That's located near Nelson, British Columbia, and it includes three adjoining properties, Kena, Daylight, and Athabasca which have an estimated resource of over 3 million ounces of gold. Now, that's including both indicated and inferred resources. But if you look at this chart, you can see where they rank with their market cap and also with the size of the resource. They're right in there with the other moderate to big players in Canada. It's very important to note that this is gold in the ground in Canada one of the most favorable mining jurisdictions in the world. And their projects are located nearby large towns. All the significant mining infrastructure, the needs, roads, power, are very, very close by. Their flagship Kena project includes properties where there were several historic operating mines. Everybody knows that the best place to find gold is near a gold mine. West Mining also has great exploration potential. Their projects are located along a well-known mineralized trend and has significant exploration potential. One of the areas is called the British Columbia's Golden Arc. West Mining Corp. is a company with solid assets, but they're trading at a steep discount to their book value. And think about this, the big mining companies. Look, for the last several decades, they've really ignored their exploration budgets. They were more focused on paying down debt and building fortress balance sheets. But as a result, the big miners are now facing a situation where their pipeline of future projects is being depleted. They're going to be looking to the junior exploration companies, companies like West Mining Corp, to help uh, replenish their diminishing pipeline of new projects. This is a company that I think you might benefit from checking out. You know, I don't offer financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence, but it's a company that I'm finding very interesting and definitely will be worth you checking them out. I'll put a link to the company's website in the description of this video. With Citigroup calling for $3,000 gold in 2025, Goldman Sachs telling us $2,700 gold is right around the corner. It's going to be very interesting to see how the precious metals market, including silver, but also the mining stocks, and in particular, the junior mining stocks, how this all plays out. If it plays out like it has in the past, we could be in for some very fun times. Hey, I appreciate you joining me here in the basement. You know you are the most important part of Ron's basement. I want you to come back. Please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. You can share it with whoever you like. Most important, be well, and I'll see you next time.